Hey, what's up, everybody? It's a YouTube troll here. And, um, pretty much, I wanted to talk to you guys today about DLC costumes that have been announced uh, by CyberConnect 2. And it's not a rant or anything, but, you know, before I talk about that, I wanted to put out three suggestions for CyberConnect 2. And, I, you know what? I, I know CyberConnect 2 isn't going to watch this, but god damn, do I wish they actually listened to fans. This is three good suggestions, which I'm pretty sure, unless you guys are haters or something, would agree with me, okay? One, I'm gonna just put out the, sing the single DLC costumes, okay? Because I'm thinking of a, a pack, an entire pack, and I'm gonna mention that, like, I I'm gonna say that for the end. Okay, so the first one, give Han the Full Metal Archimedes suit of arm, and then keep his um, boiler and red hat as a signature. I think that will fucking look so beast on Han, and I don't even like Han, dude. But I think if they give him that sort of armor, it would just be fucking amazing, right? The second one, Kimimaro. I know a lot of people don't use Kimimaro or whatever, but if you give him an Inujasha costume, I think it would be actually pretty befitting. You know, just because Kimimaro has the long hair and he's kind of a swordsman, you know, even though he uses his bones and not a fucking skyscraper sword you know i'm pretty sure it would be pretty befitting now the third and last thing uh, as a suggestion here would be the jinchuriki dlc pack now what that is is on the manga chapter 616 on the cover uh they were you know as celebrating their 10th anniversary of naruto they they kind of drew all the jinchuriki side by side with this like this white outfit and they had a hairband that represented like how many tails they had and pretty much it's like a white outfit and like on the torso area there's like this marking with stripes and it looks so beast like it literally looks beast and i don't know why they haven't even done that as a matter of fact i mean i thought it would be fucking boss if they could actually give some dlc costumes to some other characters other than you know, Kakashi, Naruto, Sasuke, you know what I'm saying, right? Like, instead of giving it to the main characters, give it to some other characters. Let some other characters shine, is what I'm trying to say. Because I really believe that they could improve um, their their DLC costumes a little bit more. And, you know, using those suggestions that I just put out would be a step up. I mean, I'm, I'm speaking, I'm probably speaking, you know, um, because of my uh, preferences, I guess, you know, through my preferences. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people would enjoy to see some stuff like that because a lot of people watch other animes besides Naruto. You know, a lot of people might want to see, uh, you know, a Luffy outfit or a Luffy costume or whatever, a Bleach costume. Like, you know, just implement different animes in there. Uh, pro it's probably hard for them to do that, you know, without proper licensing or anything, you know, but... I'm pretty sure it could be done if they did it with Dragon Ball Z. I'm just saying. Now, I don't know if you guys agree with me or not, but please just, you know, leave it down in the um, comment section below. Uh, I'm gonna put a description box for the DLC pack that I was talking about, so hopefully you guys can kind of get like a glimpse of, you know, what, I, what I'm trying to say. Um, and I hope you guys like the video, okay? Peace out.